<laughs> today, Look. it might hurt a couple of y'all. Uh, uh, uh. It's just, it is what it is. It's time to level up. Uh, I can't sympathize with people. Um, yeah, it's time to level up. You can't sympathize with people who elaborate. Who? Yeah, people who. People in general. Mm. I got no sympathy to give. I have empathy to give, but I don't have sympathy to give. So today we're going to be talking about why if you don't get your shit together, you're going to get left behind in just about every facet of your life that you think is important to you or is actually currently important to you. So that's what we're talking about. <laughs> what you looking at me for like that? Um, continue. Okay. <laughs> I will continue. So look, take take this uh these gender war conversations that are going on. What really annoys me is that there is truth in some of the things that are being said. They're they're actual truths. And and they might be hard to swallow truths, but there are truths. And they're truths and it makes them real because the people who are saying them have this huge platform and then other people take that on to be true so it's true it's true in the minds of the people who allow it to be true and then it's true on the minds of the people who say it um thus it makes it a very real reality in the world that we live in and some of the things that are being said are based off of experience their personal experience or personal perceptions the one undeniable fact is this, though. As much generalization as happens in, in, in their comments and what it is that they're saying, it can become true for you. Because when you listen to it and you hear it enough times, you will come to believe it. You can begin to take on those narratives as truth for yourselves, whether you want to believe it or not. Whether you want to outwardly admit it to yourself or not. We got to level up as individuals. Take, for instance, Jinji, hmm. in your opinion, yes, to speak. if you were not on a growth path when we sat down on your couch that night, do you think that we would have, you would have been in a position to have as successful of a relationship as we do right now? Absolutely not. Okay, now. If I was not on a growth path of my own at the at that time, would we be able to be having this relationship that we have right now? Absolutely. What if only one of us was on a growth path, either one? Mm, well, it's tough and it's kind of case by case, right? Like, depending on where that person's at, like say, for example, I'm on a growth path when we met and you were not. If I'm here, if I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, but I see this potential in this guy. Mm -hmm. Am I willing and how long am I willing to wait to see if there is a shift or a change, right? Mm -hmm. So in that one moment, I could have been like, oh, he's not on a growth path. Absolutely not. Been done. Then and there. We wouldn't have even had that conversation on my couch. I would have been mm -hmm. like, no, I'm not taking this guy to my house. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Um alternatively i could have said hey i see this potential in this guy i wonder if he sees it in himself and i wonder if there's progress happening that i'm not seeing yet or not mm. and then maybe feel it out and see you know but depending on then how far you take it which is a journey that i i can only you know show i can only show you the mirror i can't mm. make you do it you know, i could bring a horse to water i can't make the horse drink that would determine that would make or break the relationship is what I think, mm. you know, and I think that applies to any relationship. So you're telling me that if you are on a growth path, I'm sitting next to you on the couch, we're mm. talking, you don't pick up a vibe that I too am on a personal growth path, but you become curious as to whether or not that is in fact true. Mm -hmm. You might entertain the situation. Mm. And then... Give or take at a distance, yeah, and then depending on... You know, what's revealed do we get closer or we get further apart mm. you know i think it worked so perfectly 
thus far because we are both on a growth path and we we can both look each other in the face and tell each other the hard truths and 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 could keep growing um but i can think of situations where you know i should have walked away before but i should have walked away and have not entertained it at all or you know they kept growing a little bit and then there was a plateau and i should have but mm. there, you know, like at one point or another, there are telltale signs. Mm. So okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna redirect that same question to me, mm -hmm. right? Um, now, when I answer this, this is in no way to to refute your position. This is just from my perspective. If you were not on a growth path that I can tell almost immediately I'm walking away and the reason why for me that is enough to walk away from I could be wrong you know what I mean like I could be wrong but if I'm wrong I believe that and we were still meant to be right destinies collide then I'm okay with that just not being the time yeah absolutely All right in my mind, in my calculations, right, if if each individual person is not on an active growth path that is almost immediately recognizable to the other person, then you're already starting off going backwards. Mm -hmm. If you're not on a personal growth path in a way that emanates mm -hmm. off of you, then what you're going to find is energies not mixing well. And then you might wonder as to why they're not mixing well. It's like, I really like this person. We ha we share laughs, but why is it bothering me that they eat gummy worms, a bag of gummy worms in one sitting, and I'm over here eating nuts and berries because it's better for my digestion? One person is looking to increase their nutritional value and what it is that they take and the other person is not that alone in my mind is enough to say hey this person might be growing in all these other facets but they can't control their sugar intake they can't control their alcohol intake they can't control their weed intake they can't control their food intake maybe they eat four meals a day if that doesn't co coincide with your lifestyle it's already a red flag hmm. It's already not a growth path. Now, when I mean growth path, I don't mean positive or negative. I just mean a growth path that is in alignment with where it is you want to grow, where yeah. you want to grow. Yeah. Because you, somebody could be growing and I'm going to build, I don't know, the greatest gym in the world. And then you could be growing where you're like, I'm building a career where it takes me around the world. Yeah. It's like, well... Somebody's growing in a spot where they're going to be stationed for a long time, and then you're growing in an area where it's taking you all over the world. Yeah. And that, and the personalities might not be able to mesh with that. Mm -hmm. So it's important, number one, to be on a growth path. If you're doubting yourself, good luck. Like, if you're sitting here doubting yourself in this day and age, doubt is okay. But not believing in yourself and then adding doubt and then adding the constant, it's a slippery slope. And it's okay to be on that slippery slope. I would like to say um, that, it, you know, it's case by case, right? There are some individuals that it might work. Them having, you know, like, I'll be stationed here. I am home based and mm -hmm. I have my gym here. And the other person is traveling the world or whatnot. But I think that that takes... The growth takes the maturity and takes a tremendous amount of communication. Um, so it, it's possible. Um, just like changing dietary habits is possible, but they have to have that desire within themselves. When when I brought up the, the traveling example versus, you know, staying here or staying in place and building something, right? I'm not saying that those two situations can't work based off of the circumstance what I'm saying is, if that is in case, in fact, the circumstance, be learn enough about yourself to be able to recognize if that situation is optimal mm -hmm. for 
Number one, your well-being. Number two, both whomever, whatever parties are involved, all of their well-beings collectively. And then lastly, everybody else other than you, if it's uh, good for their well-being. It's that level of selfishness, right? Mm -hmm. If it's good for me, is it good for us? Is it good for them? The circumstances can be absolutely anything. But when the circumstances come into play and you're not already on a personal growth path, you're already not cutting out X, whatever X is. If it's candy for you, it's candy. If it's if it's weed for you, it's weed. If it's I stay up too late, it's you stay up too late. If you're not actively taking out, shaving off whatever it is that is holding you back from from blossoming into whatever it is that you know you can become and no active steps are being made to do that um, with intention because you can make steps and just go through the motions but if mm -hmm. there is an intention an active t intention an associated belief that's what it is that I'm looking for mm -hmm. you need to have the active intention the action and the associated belief that then breeds a movement that can emanate, an energy that can emanate off the individual person, each individual person. And when those, those people meet, it's undeniable. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't just mean between two people who are growing a family unit. This is business partners, friendship. Mm -hmm. We all have experience where us and our friends just all of a sudden, we hung out for the last time. You know when you think about it? We've hung out for the last time, and then we, we called each other for the last time. Your parent put you down and never picked you back up again. Hmm. There's always a last time. It's, an, it's some, whether it's, well, that's a physical example, but it's an energy shift. Yeah. And, and that's what it is that I'm talking about. The parent example, you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's very real. And it's interesting, too, because that can mean a lot of different things for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like... I didn't, my first thought was not physical, mm -hmm. but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And, and, and then when you take it over into the mental, emotional, spiritual sense of things, you could believe in yourself for the last time mm. if you allow that. Mm, 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 mm. Don't stop believing. So you have to remember to believe in yourself. It's, it's very real. Some people have, have, have literally... Stop believing in themselves for the last time. Yeah. And they will live throughout their days hmm. never believing in themselves again. Or always believing in themselves because you can rewire your mind and there's science behind that. You so, can always believe in yourself and there can never... and the, But even at the end, there'd be an end. There would be an end, yes, because you would, you know, pass away. You'd die. But, but uh, the science behind it is... There's like your your brain doesn't know whether you're being sarcastic, whether you're joking, whether you're being serious. So whatever you tell yourself, those thoughts that you have in your head, you, the more you say them, if there's negative self-talk or tracks that just pop in your head and you don't do anything to redirect them, you will start believing that. Your body and your mind will believe that. Mm -hmm. So you have to take on the responsibility, that authority over yourself and over your mind. Like you said, okay. I'm on the growth path. I'm actively moving towards something that you you stop it and you get yourself back into that space of, no, I do believe this. Say it to yourself until you believe it. I don't care if you don't actually at that point, but the more you say it, your literal brain will make that neural pathway. Mm -hmm. Let me do this for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> We're off center. So yeah, yeah. It's it's not. So we're being a little bit vague, a little general. Um, this is going to be an ongoing topic of conversation. There's there's an abundance of dis of display. Let's just leave it at that. There's an abundance of display that is going on right now, especially with the advent of the internet and and interconnectedness. There is a heightened elevation of belief in oneself on one end, and then there is a depletion, probably exponential, in the other way. The more P 
people, the more people believe in themselves on one end of the spectrum and say, hey, I can't do absolutely anything I want, they move through life differently. And all of a sudden, they might be seen in a light. And then those of us who might not be living in a light that we would like to live in, we watch these people. Hmm. We watch these energies. And if we're not truthful with ourselves and never ask why we watch these energies, it's a dark space. Hmm. Because now now you're kind of like, you're like digging yourself self into a hole and you knowingly left the flashlight mm, by the mm, car. Mm. You know? And you're you just digging and, digging and digging. You're a watcher or a doer. Then what are you doing? Are you doing intentionally or are you just doing? Oh, it, it sucks. Yeah. It sucks. On a lighter note, but also you're absolutely right and this is truth. I, I keep thinking or keep going back to the conversation we had on the couch. How did you know I was on a growth path? To make it kind of personal just because I'm actually wondering. How did I know you were on a growth path? Um, I mean, I don't know if I can pull on any specifics. I think it's, it's in, intuitive. Just an energy. Right. There, there's something, right. And mm -hmm. I believe a couple of days after that, you decided to call me and, you know, say, Hey, you felt something. Did you feel, and then ask me <laughs> if I felt something. And I was like, I did. Right. So there was something yeah. that was felt. And then that's worthy of, of a little bit of investigation. Um, I think I think one of the one of the one of the more outwardly things that I look for or looked for is well is her space clean? You know, like this is this is it. Is she clean? You know? Um and I had you in my space. Yeah. Yeah. Um and then yeah, so it's like those those are certain things that you can really knock off. Like yeah. if somebody is disorganized to me, I don't want to live amongst that. Yeah. I can live I, I do create disorganization here and there, right? But um I will I will get it back to to being organized. And you're not dirty. And I'm not dirty, right? So there's there's tall tale things. So how does she smell? How does this place smell? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. She takes care of a lot of plants, right? So there's there's a certain look at you. There's a certain <laughs> there's a certain energy somebody carries when they take care of plants, and then they surround themselves with plants. It means that it, it depicts patience. It shows um, it shows forward thinking, right? Because you believe that you can make this plant lively in this space. You believe that these plants can thrive in your space. Um, you believe you can make these plants thrive in your in your space. So it was, it was just certain things like that. You know, you ain't stink. You ain't dirty. Your plants are, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you took care of your home. Mm -hmm. You take care. You put care into your home. So it's like, you know, boom, boom, boom. Those are growth things. But there's there's such a, a, a million different ways that somebody can be growing. Mm -hmm. And no one of them is going to tell you, hey, they're for sure heading in that path. Mm -hmm. But if there's enough of them, then you can say, hey, this is worthy of spending a little bit of time. So I checked off. Enough boxes. Yeah. So and then and that paired with the energy, the undeniable energy that we both felt. Is that what it was? That's sure. what did it? That's what did it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what did it. Mm. Well, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> Look. Oh. Men, level your shit up, dude. Women, level your shit up. Level your shit up. It is not going to get easier. It's most certainly not. And the reality is your trial, your tribulations that you face here in this lifetime, if you want it, 
you can you can obtain it if you truly don't believe you're deserving of it you won't have a chance in hell to get it what's so. that quote it's like um it could happen or not happen whatever you believe is the truth or whatever you believe mm -hmm. is right something like that so it's like if you don't believe it yeah exactly if you don't believe it it's it's not happening if you do then it's possible we have infinite potential you just got to believe and tap into it yeah so anyway mm -hmm. um i hope ah uh, that would be a lie i was about to say i hope i didn't offend any of you but that's a lie i i really don't i, I can't sympathize with it i can empathize i don't think you, know. you said anything wrong no, I don't know. I'm not saying I said anything wrong. I stand by what I said. You said and I'm stand by it. I'm saying by it. You know, it is what it is. If if some of y'all feelings get hurt, nobody's feelings gonna go get hurt. new feelings. <laughs> Honestly, that's perception. Yeah. Get new feelings. Yeah. Or expand your perception to understanding different perspectives and not being offended by variants of opinions. Something that I'm growing in myself. Because everybody's perspective is different, and it doesn't mean they're inherently wrong. Just because it's your opinion doesn't mean it's fact. Yeah, so get your feelings. Expand your perspective. Is the is the um um the kinder way incursive to italicized way of saying. That. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This has been another episode of a couple conversations. Uh, hmm. We'll see you next week. Yes. Come on, I gotta do a little bit. He didn't okay, even do goodbye. it. Goodbye. All right, bye. Peace. We should do this.